Today we're going to look at problem two using Pythagorean identities to find trigonometric ratios. Here we have an exercise one through four evaluate without using a calculator use Pythagorean identities rather than reference triangles. And here we have find secant theta and cosecant theta if 10 theta equals 3 and cosine theta is greater than 0. And so let's go ahead and look at a look at our unit circle. We have the tangent of theta equal to 3, so that lets us know that we're going to have a, a positive 3, and so that would limit our answers to either quadrant 1 or quadrant 3 where the tangent value could be positive 3. And likewise we have cosine theta of greater than 0, and we have cosine uh, theta greater than 0 here, and the x values are found in quadrants 1 and 4. And so between those two conditions, the condition of tangent being 3 and cosine being greater than 0, we're limited here to quadrant 1. And so therefore we know that our secant theta and cosecant theta, they are both going to be positive numbers. That's really important to know once we get using Pythagorean identity. And so uh, we start out with the tangent theta equal to 3, and we go to the Pythagorean identities, and this is the particular one we're going to use here, 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta, and this is derived from the, the parent, if you want to call it Pythagorean identity, sine, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1, which is a the unit circle version of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so going back here, we take um, 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta, and we replace this tangent with 3, and so we have 1 plus 3 squared equals secant squared theta. And we 1 plus 3 squared is 10, so secant squared theta equals 10. And we solve for secant theta by taking the square root of both sides. And we already established, and, and normally we take, uh, I'm going to reverse, we'll have secant theta equals plus or minus square root of 10. And we already established here in the unit circle that we're going to be in quadrant 1, so we can eliminate this negative. So we now know that the secant theta equals square root of 10. Now we're going to come over and we're, we have already found the secant, our answer here, we're going to find the cosecant theta. And the cosecant theta, we're going to use this second identity here, and that's 1 plus cotangent squared, cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. And because of the reciprocal identity, uh, we have the tangent of theta equals 3. We'll, we know the cotangent theta is going to be the reciprocal or 1 over 3. So we can rewrite the second Pythagorean identity as 1 plus cotangent squared theta. So we're going to take 1 third squared equals cosecant squared theta. And if we take the if we take 1 third squared, we're going to have, we're going to end up down here with 1 plus 1 ninth equals cosecant squared, cosecant squared theta. And uh, using a common denominator of 9, we're going to have 9 ninths plus 1 ninth equals cosecant squared theta. And 9 plus 1 is 10, so we have 10 ninths equals cosecant squared theta. And now solving for cosecant, we take the square root of both sides. And what we're going to have here is the square root of 10 over the square root of 9, which is going to be 3. So we're going to have 
cosecant theta equals plus or minus square root of 10 over 3. And again, uh, because our unit circle in quadrant 1, we know that the cosecant is positive also. We can eliminate this negative. And so here we are with, with our answer, cosecant theta equals square root of 10 over 3. Now, it says rather than use reference triangles, uh, just as a check for what we solved here, I'm going to erase everything above our answers, and we're going to just use a reference triangle here. And we know the tangent, again, tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta. And we know in this case we have a tangent of 3, so it's going to be a uh, sine theta over cosine theta will occur in a 3 to 1 ratio. And so we can draw a cosine would be a adjacent side here. So that would be 1 from here. And 3 would be our opposite in this uh, reference triangle that we've created from, the, from our ratio here. Now in order to find secant and cosecant, we're going to need to have the hypotenuse. And we can have, find the hypotenuse by using Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared, which is 1 squared, plus b squared, which is 3 squared, equals c squared, which is going to be 10. That 10 is c squared or hypotenuse squared. So therefore we know that our hypotenuse is going to be square root of 10. And the secant is going to be the reciprocal of the uh, cosine. And so we have 1. Um, so what we have is we're going to have hypotenuse instead of 1 over hypotenuse or adjacent over hypotenuse. We have hypotenuse over adjacent. So uh, for this, our secant theta, using the reference triangle, is going to be square root of 10, just like we had earlier, and cosecant is going to be the opposite over, uh, I, mean, I mean, sine is going to be opposite over adjacent, and so cosecant is going to be, a, is going to be hypotenuse over opposite. So that would be cosecant theta equals opposite equals a hypotenuse over opposite, so we get the same thing. And so here we have a check that we did things right. So I uh, hope this is helpful. Thanks for viewing.